Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. Wanted to bring you guys a video review of the Powder Blue 10s. Uh, these shoes came out today. Um, this is a double upload. I already did an unboxing video earlier today. If you guys want to see that one, uh, check out that uh, video. But I wanted to give you guys a video of the Powder Blue 10s and kind of my thoughts on them, as well as a comparison to some other Jordan 10s um, with the original colorways and a comparison to the Powder Blue 3s. So let's go ahead and jump in. Lots of things to cover today. Excited to get the Powder Blue 10s. Um, Let's go ahead and look at this. This is Soul Collector issue that Jumpman Bossa kind of uh, turned everybody on to and has Tinker and Jordan on the front uh, celebrating the Jordan 23s. But inside they have all of the original models of the uh, the Jordans and the dates that they came out. So you can see right here, the Steels came out in 94, uh, Dark Shadows, and then the Powder Blues came out in 94 as well, those, those first three. Then you have a, um, a Black Dark Concord colorway right there. And then you have the uh, Chicago 10s and... And then the whole rest of the city pack, including the um, uh, right there, the uh, green ones, which I, I kind of really like, the Seattle um, ones. But anyway, there's a whole bunch of them. Then you can see that the Steels uh, retroed in in 05, and then obviously the Steels retroed in uh, 2000, what, 2013 last year, uh, which I actually have those ones right here. So the Steels um, and the Chicago's and then the Powder Blues, there's a whole bunch of original colorways, but... It's interesting to see because there's just a slight variation to some of the colorways. Um, like the Powder Blues, for example, you can see that the collar is all one color. An interesting uh, an interesting look because the Chicago Tans have this uh, checkered material on the inside. So something that I didn't know, I mean, this, I don't have the originals. I've never seen the original pair of Powder Blue Tans. So the fact that they bring them back out is pretty cool. And to see this Powder Blue uh, liner is interesting and, and kind of cool. Uh, the only thing that I wanted to mention also is it seems like there's not as much um, powder blue on this as there is on, as there is steel on the steels or red on the Chicago's. So what I mean by that is all you see for powder blue is the liner on the inside and the sole. Uh, there, the Jumpman on the back is black. The lace lockdown system is black. Uh, everything on the front is black. And then the upper is obviously two types of, of different leather uh, in white. So, and then there's a white Jumpman on the bottom, but this is you get, you get the blue, and then you get the blue, and that's pretty much it. I think that was consistent with the way the city pack was too, but um, you guys, honestly, I, I even from the images from here, I can't tell uh, if the inner liners are checkered or not, but the checkered liners are kind of what the Jordan 10 is, is known for. Um, let's go with the steels first to show you guys this. The steels have this lockdown system with the steel kind of colored like laces or lace locks, I guess, or lace um, system. And then on the inside, uh, you see that the checkered steel kind of color. And then on the sole, you get the steel uh, color as well. Black Jumpman on the back. But for the steels, like this is all like um, different colored than, than just regular black versus the, uh, the powders, which are all black. But one thing that's kind of consistent with between the powders and the Chicago's is the Chicago's and the powders have the exact same um, color scheme from this area right here. The liners, uh, you can see the red checkered versus the blue the way it is. And also um, the soles, you get the red and blue. But the back, this is a difference on these. The back tab or the back Jordan, not the back tab. The back Jordan uh, has the Jumpman in red on the Chicago's. And it's not powder blue on the powder blues. Now, um, I don't have the original powder blue, so I don't know uh, if this is true to exactly 100% to the originals or did they change a couple things here and there. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be some other people that will have the review up. I'm, I'm looking to maybe Jumpman Bossick or MJO23Dan had the originals um, as well. Uh, so I'm curious to see like what they, what they uh, show if they actually end up getting the powder blue tents. Uh, one thing to note is they went away with the, at least in my pair, Usually you get that little liner on the inside here. Um, and what I mean by that is is this little cup, the little cup uh, part right here. They they didn't put those in these ones, and I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe it was just the pair that I got. I did get a double up. Um, it was a really, really easy pickup on Nike um, online this morning. So I, I just, I managed to go into Nike Portland about noon. So they opened at 10. I went in at noon just to check to see if they had some. And they ended up having these in a nine. They didn't have nine and a half, and they had a 10. So... Like, I'm surprised they, they definitely didn't sell out. And kind of my thought process on this is, you know, these are an original colorway. We haven't seen this um, model in a long time. And I'm a sucker for all the original colorways. Um, it's just like, as a collector in me, you just want to have, like, all of the originals, right? But 
This one, uh, I, th I don't know, like between this weekend and last weekend with the infrared sixes and then these ones, um, th both of them didn't really sell out like on launch. And I think the reason why is because they mass produced the heck out of both of them. They were available everywhere, like really like Champs Sports, uh, Foot Locker, Finish Line, East Bay, uh, Dick Sporting Goods, like uh, Jimmy J Jazz or whatever it is online. Like there was a whole bunch of places that had these. So they weren't like rare by any means. And the fact that they made it a major GR um, makes it accessible. And and for me personally, as, as a collector, as a, somebody that appreciates a shoe for what it is and not necessarily um, the value, monetary value of the sneaker, like it's it's dope to me to be, to be able to go in and pick up this sneaker uh, and, and not have any hype or anything to worry about. Now, uh, who knows if it, there's going to be hype on the shoe in like 10 years or now, I mean, from now or five years from now. But it doesn't really matter. I'm excited that they had these in stock and I was able to uh, pick them up. A little bit of a comparison to the powder blue color. Um, I mean, it is pretty pretty similar. It's not 100% the same because this is cloth powder blue and then this is on leather. Um, then the liner and this, the powder blue threes, are uh, are like silver. So, But it's pretty close in color. It's not 100% the same, just for those that were wondering. The sole, even the sole color is a little bit off, as you can see here, the powder blue on the the threes and the powder blue on the tens they look a little bit different the threes look a little bit lighter um, than this but maybe that's just me but i just wanted to show you guys a comparison to the colors for you, your sake if you guys are curious close enough though i mean if you look at it from a distance like this like it looks pretty much the same so um but it does look a little bit lighter on this one anyway i'm excited to get these ones leave a comment let me know if you guys are feeling the powder blue uh tens or not did you guys cop them or not a couple of things. Obviously, the quality is like pretty decent on these. I mean, you can see the tumbled leather is tumbled all the way around, which is nice. Um, there's some creasing right here on mine, and there's some creasing a little bit on the toe box area in the front as well. It's kind of a little bumpy, but all in all, like, uh, I mean, we gotta re remember it's it's a living animal. I mean, this was leather, and um, and it's not 100% perfect. Do, would we hope for better quality leather in the future? Uh, absolutely, I'm I'm banking on that, but. Um, I don't know, man. It's tough. The black tumbled leather looks really, really nice, though, on on that area right there. I mean, that looks really phenomenal to me. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much that. And then the only thing I wanted to sh to note is look at the tumbled leather on the on these ones. The, I mean, how bad it is comparison. I mean, these ones are from the Chicago's, but you can see it's tumbled on the back right here. As you move up to the toe box area, the tumbling kind of goes really, really faint. It's like almost like it's not even tumbled. And these ones are. Ones from I got these for I think from the employee store for like eighty something dollars so I can't complain regardless but um, but it's cool to be able to to get some of these original colorways back in this in the uh, in the collection or in my collection for the first time I know um, they're not originals or anything like that but um, but for me it's fun you know it's 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 what keeps me kind of entertained and into the sneaker uh, world of things and and it's it's not always about the hyped up sneakers and I mean it's kind of crazy because depending on the the quantity of a sneaker it makes it hype like the infrared sixes for example those are super like the infrared 23 sixes are super hyped up now just because of the color like this is an original colorway the the infrared sixes um the white infrared sixes were original colorway and the other ones are are worth more because of the limited run but uh i don't know man just uh all i can suggest is is buy what you like and if, if it ends up being a hype sneaker don't i mean don't trip about it but uh but if you like something that's not hyped, I mean, don't don't worry about what other people say. Buy what you like, and if you like it, then good. I'm excited about this sneaker, man. It's been one that I've been quiet about, and I didn't know the release was going to be so easy to get, and I'm really excited for that. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Uh, check back. I'll have a bunch of more videos coming up. Got a bunch of uh, random videos, a Ross um, video, a, uh, a Nike outlet video, and a Nike outlet pickup video, uh, just to name three, as well as like two more unboxings. So lots of stuff. I got to catch up on. We'll catch you guys later though. Peace.